right, let's see how this works. I'm using my uh, Kodak. Yeah, Kodak. Does anybody realize I have Kodak cameras still? Uh, anyway, I'm sitting here working on... I was... I made a mistake the other day. Some of my other videos are on this. Little Sony action cam. See, and it has no way of seeing whether you're videoing, whether you're, whether you're in frame, or anything else like that. It comes with this waterproof case that I leave open and then put it on my dashboard here on this mount like so. So when you're seeing me driving, that's what you're looking at. Anyway, I did a video um, a couple of days ago while I was driving and I go to do some editing here and find out uh, I wasn't videoing anything there was nothing on my card and it's odd because it shows I have over 10 gigs remaining on my uh, on space on my card so uh, I don't know what's up with that. And then you can see here, if you can see that. Focus, damn you. Anyway, right here, it shows that I have all this free space. Well, I guess not. So, I don't know. I can't use the SD card from this camera because it's a larger one and the one in the um, the one in here. Okay, this is the adapter, and it takes a micro SD card. Let's see if I can do this one-handed. Yeah, there we go. It's this little micro card here, and you put it in a slot on the side so you can put it in your your laptop and um, well it didn't work so I'm using this camera again which is fine with me this is the camera I took to Cebu on the very first video that you see on on my channel this is the camera it's a Kodak 14 megapixels which is nothing compared to the new cameras uh, it doesn't really have a stability program in it or anything it has a metal case I bought it for $75 at a Walmart in the middle of Nebraska after a snowstorm on my way to LA to go meet my then fiance now wife <laughs> so I was hunkered down in a motel in Nebraska and uh, ran across the highway where there was a Walmart and bought this camera on my way to the on, on my way to LA. Uh, my com company actually got me out to LA to um, so I could fly out of LAX to Hong Kong on Cathay Pacific, which I totally recommend if you can afford it. Uh, Hong Kong, great airport to lay over, lots of food, free Wi-Fi, all that, you know, big lounging, napping uh, couches you can lay out and take a nap and whatnot. Um, but I've been using this camera for years and years and years, and Lizelle was using it at the house um, and dropped it and broke the little door that holds the batteries and we put the SD card uh, so there's a tape, piece of tape holding it in place uh, so what I was going to do excuse me, moving around here I'm going to put you in my mount on the dashboard and see if this works there, let's get this out of the way my little dream catcher I am. Uh, I have to do my paperwork. Um, these are my bill of ladings for each load that I carry. 
there is a, a bill of lading that goes with it. Um, and I have to fill out one of these forms here. It's a scan sheet. Most big companies have them now. Where in the truck, by the way, I'm still in Chicago right now. And it is hot as you know what. The, the heat factor says that it feels like 110. I was in such a big hurry this morning to get here because I had taken a short nap and overslept. <laughs> which gave me four and a half hours to go 220 miles. So... I had no time to stop to pick up anything to eat, and today is Friday, July 22nd. I'm heading home tonight. I'm going to pick up my load in Kenosha, Wisconsin, heading back to Minnesota so I can go home and be there Saturday on the 23rd. Well, I have to do my paperwork first, so i got to fill out my scans for... Uh, to get all my paperwork in, then I'll have only one left so I can just leave tomorrow. And we use one of these, it's a scanner, in the truck, so I don't have to go run into a truck stop to uh, to do my scans. I can do them wherever I'm at. I'm just kind of lazy, and I have, how many here? I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven seven scans to fill out and then uh, the last one when I get to our terminal in um, Minnesota before I go home tomorrow and then I get paid for all those loads next week next Friday uh, what do we have planned for this week well I was informed by Mama there that she's going, oh, I'm sorry, let me finish. I didn't have time to stop to pick up any food, so I've been here now for nine and a half hours with no food. Yeah, hungry. Oh, I have a little coffee left, and I got some ice water in here. And I'm basically fasting for the <laughs> for the whole time I'm here, which is not really good if you're if you're type two diabetic. You shouldn't be skipping meals. But I just took my blood sugar, and it's 103, which is perfect. It's uh, not too low. It's right where it should be. So I'm in no danger really. I have plenty of blubber to burn off. Um, I'm sitting here idling, trying to stay cool. I really can only sleep for about five hours. That's all I've ever been able to sleep since I've forever. If I sleep long, if I sleep eight hours, it's uh, I'm shocked. So now I'll do my scans. Mama told me she's going shopping tomorrow with her girlfriend, which is great for me. I hate. Right now we're in a, a money pinch because we paid for that big party for Anton's baptism and I took money away from the uh, paying the bills basically I put off the electric the gas the water for a whole month so now I got to pay double um, so we we have no extra for anything nada nothing it's just uh, I'm just starting to get caught up on the electric now and the gas and water next week. So when the next building comes next month, we'll, it'll be normal again. I don't like doing it, but you know, she had to have the party for the baby. It, it's what's done. And I don't remember having parties for my two ch other children. I mean. Dirty. Need to wash my coffee cup. Um, so 
so that's a little private information there. We're broke. Uh, <laughs> Uh, so she's going grocery shopping tomorrow, which most likely means I'll be in the house with Anton, like I was last weekend. Uh, it saves me money, it saves me gas, basically. Because, uh, Sunday, if the weather, uh, allows, we are, we should be doing driving lessons. Uh... We'll see how the weather is. The Weather Channel predicts rain. She says she don't care. She wants me to teach her how to drive. She's in a big hurry, but she's at that level where it's still going to take her months to to have the confidence and know how to back the car into a park. Put it in a parking spot. She hasn't done that yet. So, you know, going down the road, it's it's iffy still, as far as keeping it center lane and whatnot. It's not so easy for, for somebody who's never, you know, it's only been in this country for about four years, and, you know, I've driven her everywhere. Uh, you might say, well, hire, hire a teacher for her. Oh, you got a thousand bucks laying around? <laughs> well, we got a driving school in town there, but... Who's going to take care of Anton while she's uh, doing her driving lessons during the week? We don't do we don't do babysitters at this age, and uh, I mean she has her girlfriend uh, Beverly Lisa that is the godmother, and she totally trusts her. But we don't do babysitters at this age. Um, So we're at that point right now, you know, she, one thing about Lizelle is she is very impatient and she is extremely stubborn, more than me, I think, more than me, because once in a, you know, that's why we're so perfect for each other. It's like two bulls, boom, 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 boom. Sooner or later, one gets knocked out and goes to the side. So, uh, that's the only reason I said in my last little video that, you know, nobody else would put up with her. It's true. I don't see anybody else, you know, unless they have the exact same personality as me, putting up with somebody who is always, you know, in your face with everything. I mean... Granted, she's right that I'm, uh, I need a little kick in the butt sometimes to get me motivated to do stuff, but on the same, same uh, thinking, I've been working all week away from the house, on the road, look at me. Do I look like I'm, you know, you might think, oh, you're just laying around. Well, I drove all night, okay, or 500 miles overnight to get here. You know, to go to go to Detroit back, okay. Um, you know, the, I spent a full 14 yesterday, 14 hours working overnight. You know, I sleep five hours, and then I do that all week, and then go home. So, yeah, I want to play my video games. I want to relax, chill out. Granted. You know, she can't drive herself to the grocery store, so I have to take her. So I'm thankful for her girlfriend taking her to the grocery store. Uh, then, okay, Sunday is driving. Hopefully I can clean up some of the... Uh, I don't have a storage. You know, some guys have these ter one point something terabyte storage uh, hard drives. I don't have any of that stuff. Uh, I'm, I just go out and buy another SD card and keep them all in my case. Hopefully nothing gets corrupted. Uh, so I'll try to clean up some of the miscellaneous videos and uh, pictures on this card to make some room. So hopefully we'll get some of the um, some of the, the driving lesson. And then Monday, Monday afternoon, 2.30, we have to be at 
pediatricians for Anton's checkup. So either I will use my cell phone or this camera to do a short update for uh, Anton's checkup. Hopefully the doctor won't be camera shy and uh, we'll go from there. But so far, you know, that's a little peek into our lives. We're just ordinary people, not like some of the other YouTubes out there. You, you see only the good side. I, what I attempt to present in these videos is our real life. This, I mean, this is my life. This is the Zell's life, uh, our reality. So it doesn't mean it's going to be yours, but not everything is all puppy dogs and, and you know, stars and twinkly twinkly. Everything's not all fairy tale, oh, it's beautiful. Life is life, and sometimes it's hard, sometimes it's a little better, and you get through it, and hopefully you find a partner to get through it with that can put up with your crap, and... Uh, I'm not perfect. I never said I was. Uh, I try my best. And uh, hopefully she can put up with me for the rest of my life, which uh, I'm trying to, to live as long as I can so I can be a pain in her butt. <laughs> okay, well, we'll see what happens next time. Uh, hope this camera works out. And uh, everybody take care. Please like, uh, make comments, share videos, uh, subscribe. I'm attempting to get more content out there. Uh, but like I said, I'm not like some of these other YouTubers. I'm, I have a small following. I'm still below 300. Let's get 300, people. I would love to get up to 300 subscribers. Some people say, oh, I want to get a 1,000. I want to get, you know, five. I'd be happy to hit 300 because I really never expected to get that high. So uh, this was basically I was sharing things with my daughter and my son, and, and, you know, when they were down in Florida. Uh, when I made the video of my trip and everything, then I started seeing people looking at the video. I mean, I kept it public. So people were just starting to take off so I said hey you know we'll start making some little videos and you know go from there so you have the occasional troll that gets out there with all the negativity and stuff and you're going to have that that's just the the, the way of uh, the internet you're going to have those trolls but um Hope you all follow along and subscribe, and uh, by all means, leave messages, comments. Uh, if you're a guy and you want some advice, or a girl and you want some advice about the dating thing, the internet dating, finding the right person, whatever, I can give you my opinion, uh, how we did it, whatnot, you know, how you keep from getting scammed, or... How do you know if the guy is sincere and whatnot? Leave a message, you know. I'll give you my email address. I don't care. I mean, I, you can shoot me an email. Uh, I don't have a Facebook channel yet. We'll see. If I get a thousand subscribers, I think I can. Uh, that warrants getting a Facebook channel, a Facebook uh, page for for this. So. We'll go from there when I hit a thousand. Okay? So take care. God bless. See you next time.